So here we have the Novus N1050. It's a PID temperature controller. Accepts a broad range of inputs. Um, this time round, we've just connected the K-type thermocouple. Straight out of the box, you've got your quick guide, which includes all your parameters. Uh, there's enough there to get you going with the basics. Uh, the two clips on the side of the controller, which help you secure it into the panel. And if we look on the back, we've got the one terminal block here. Got a thermocouple coming in and our AC supply. Now, if you're going to use a solid state relay, you'll be on terminals four and five, which are for the pulse output. And there's an auxiliary relay there as well, which you can use for alarms and signaling, um, things of that nature. So in terms of your basic controls, we have a menu which is accessed with a single press of the P button. And in here you'll see control type automatic. Now, if we toggle that up and down, we've got manual as well. Vast majority of the time we're going to have it in automatic. And we've got no program at the moment. So what that means is a single set point. It's not going to ramp and soak. Uh, if we go back, we will see that we are currently set to a fast auto tune as well, which is always sensible on your first startup of the controller. Once you've got your solid state relay and your element connected, if we're going to be heating, then yes, auto tune it because that will give you some uh, parameters for the PID loop and it should hold temperature much, much better. Program time base. Um, this is where we start to talk about the ramp and soak. So within here, you've got your time base at the moment, minute, minute, second, second. That can be changed. Um, changing parameters simply up and down with the arrows. So if we have a look there, we're on to hours and minutes now. We'll leave it as it is. Program number one. Program tolerance. With the tolerance of zero, the program will just keep ticking over. So if you're set to half an hour um, at 100 degrees, for example, it doesn't really matter whether or not you're at exactly 100 degrees, it will just keep skipping along to the next segment in the program. Once you start getting a tolerance value in there, the program won't continue um, unless it's within tolerance. So that's something that's worth knowing. Um, set point zero, so your initial set point of the program, it could be 100 degrees. Um, and then program time one. So this is where your time starts to come in. So you can pre-fill all of that either using the quick tune software or using the buttons, as you can see, um, the various different set points. And you can keep toggling through by pressing the P button. And you can go back at any point if you miss something out using the back arrow. So that is really the basics of the menu system. It's a long press to cycle through. So as you can see, I've got my finger there, or my thumb, should I say, continually on, and it's cycling through all of the menus and we're back to normal now. So this is the screen you'll be looking at the majority of the time. Here's your measured value, uh, PV, process value, uh, which is basically what the temperature is currently, um, read from your probe thermocouple. And this is your set point. So at the moment we've set 25 degrees. Now there's no solid state, nothing connected. So it's trying to heat, but it won't heat. It's just reading room temperature. And you can see you've got your run indication. So that says, yes, we are running out. Yes, we are trying to turn solid state on and heat up. And we've also got our AT light here, which is telling us that we're gonna tune. Um, so everything is there ready to go. If we were connected up with the element um, in something like a small oven, and the probe was in there, then that would heat up to 25. And we can simply take the temperature up and down using the up and down arrows. So that's a single set point. And we're not moving on to the ramp and soak in any depth at the moment. Um, so let's do a long press again. Just recap. We've got our auto tune type going for fast. There is a full option as well, but fast is normally adequate. Um, in here, we'll see our control output one is set to control. That is a parameter that you do need when you first start with a freshly unboxed controller. We need to set 
output one here to the control output, which means when we get our solid state on there, it's going to work. Uh, output two we can ignore for now. And we'll go back in and we'll look at some of the others. So we've done auto tune. Time base we can ignore for now, just for a basic program. Alarms again, ignore that. And we're moving on. Type, this is an important one. So with our sensor connected at the back, we might not have a type K. It could be something else. It could be PT100. Um, there we go, PT. But we're going to leave it on type K. But this is just to show you some of the uh, the initial settings that you need in there. Again, more advanced stuff here. Unit C. I imagine that's going to be the case for the uh, the majority of people. No offset required. Set point low level. I normally set these to to zero. I mean, there's no need to be right the way down at minus one fifty. And again, thirteen seventy. Now with a type K in a kiln, for example, you could be up to thirteen hundred. So that's fine as it is, but if you're using something like a PT100 and you don't need the high temperature, you can bring that down and then start to bring in some of the alarms as well for a high temperature. Um, but again, that's more advanced stuff. Loop brake detection, we don't need that for now. You can read more about this in the manual online. Um, you can also set one of these up with quick tune. But really, the initial configuration is your sensor type, setting your control output, putting it in auto tune, uh, get the pin wired up, and here we need to be in auto. So this is the control type, not manual, definitely auto. And really, other than having no program in there, so program type none just tells you that we are going to be heating to this setting here. And then we're back round into the other menus. If we keep our finger pressed down, we should come back. Back to the start. And there we are. So it's a great little controller. The ramp and soak especially, really popular. We're going to do another video on that at another point in future. Uh, if anyone's got any questions, please do get in touch. We are Production Automation based in the UK. Thank you very much.